One of the best puzzle designers is Kobon Fujimura. He's best known for his work, the Tokyo Puzzles. Today we're going to look at one of his coolest puzzles. It's a triangle puzzle. How many triangles can you make with three lines? Just one. How many triangles can you make with four lines? Non-intersecting triangles. How many can you make? Think about it. The answer is just two. How many with five lines? I suggest that you take a little break and that you sit down with a piece of paper and try to figure out how many triangles, non-intersecting, that you can make with five lines. And then come back to the video. Okay, so the answer is that you can actually come up with five different triangles that you can make with five lines. What about six? The answer is that with six you can come up with seven lines. Here's one example how to do it. And here is another, I think, prettier example how to do it. So here is for seven. This is the best possible result. So these results are known to be the best possible that we've seen so far. Okay, that's seven. And this is my best that I could do for eight. And I got 12 triangles there. And this is for nine. Now, I will give you a hint as we're waiting for nine to complete. And that is that that eight solution that I showed you, that wasn't very good. I'm sure you can do better than that. So you should give that a try. But this one for nine, this is as good as you can possibly get. And isn't it beautiful? I just, I just find this so attractive whenever I get symmetry in a solution. So here we got 21 triangles. Next, this is for 10. And this is the first solution that we have seen that we do not know if this is the best possible solution. I think it has to be just because it's so beautiful, but uh, this is the only one that we don't know that it's the best possible. And the same is true for 11 and 12. We don't know if we have the best possible solution there. But for 13, surprisingly, we do know that we have the best possible solution. Here it is. There might be others, but this is one of them. So the most that is theoretically possible to get is 47 triangles, and we've got it. Okay, let's go to 15. This one is also as good as is possible to get. So you can kind of see that there's three stars, three five-sided stars embedded in each other. So this comes up with 65 triangles, and that is the best possible. Uh, it's guaranteed that you cannot improve on that. But for 10, 11, and 12, we don't know if those solutions are as good as possible. So those are good ones to work on, see how, how well you can do. This puzzle is called Coban Triangles, and it's an unsolved problem of mathematics. Whenever you're presenting this problem to your students, what grade do you present it? Well, you can present it in different grades. For younger students, they would just be focusing on making the non-intersecting triangles. For older students, you can actually introduce them to a list of the best discovered solutions and the quantity n times n minus 2 divided by 3 rounded down. And that's been proven um, to be the uh, an upper bound for the solution. So we see that uh, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12, and 14, they, the best discovered solution is not equal to that upper bound. Now we know that for 6 and 8 that actually uh, the upper bound of n times n minus 2 divided by 3, it can't actually be met. But for the other ones we don't know that. So for 10, 11, and 12 uh, we don't know if we can do better than, for example, for 10, if uh, the 25 solution can't be improved to 26. We don't know that. Now it's time to play around with platinum math triangles. Good luck.
This is level one. I have to choose the appropriate measurements for the triangle that I want to destroy. So I can destroy 444, four, four, that uh, equilateral triangle at the bottom, because that measures 4 by 4 by 4. Here, 3, 4, 6. What would that triangle look like? Well, it wouldn't be a right angle triangle, so it has to be this one over here. That only leaves 3, 4, 5, which is a right angle triangle, and that's the last one I have to destroy. Here I'm given a side, an angle in between, and another side. So I have 6, 30 degrees, and 6. And I think that will do it for that triangle. This is 4, an angle of 30 degrees, and 5. Hmm, I think that might be over here, so I'll try that. Got it. So I'm left with 4, an angle of 30 degrees, and 7. That's this one. Got it. Good luck destroying those triangles.